Today's mate video, how to disassemble, inspect, lubricate, and reassemble the spring pack on a mate Ultratech D station assembly. Note you will use the same procedure for C, D, or E stations. Lubrication of the tool assembly. The punch machine will provide lubrication to the Ultratech assembly through the top port that distributes the oil internally and through the side weep hole, which then utilizes the grooves on the exterior to distribute the oil on the exterior of the assembly. Note the springs and driver do not receive lubrication from the machine. They must be inspected and greased by the operator or tooling crib manager periodically for proper operation and longer tool life. For this procedure, MATE recommends using a torque pod to secure the tool for safety purposes during maintenance. First, we need to remove the four screws that secure the spring pack and cover in place. Use caution as the spring pack is under pressure, so you want to remove them slowly. Be sure to alternate between each screw in a star pattern to release the pressure on the springs evenly. When you notice there is no spring load on the screw, you can remove the punch head. Next, we remove the dust cap to expose the springs. The springs have been stacked every other way as an offset. It is good practice to stack the springs in the dust cap in the order they were removed. Once all the springs are removed, we need to remove the internal draw bolt spring. Once this spring is removed, the technician can tilt the assembly to help remove the draw bolt. To re-grease the spring sleeve, we need to first remove the internal key. Using a 5mm hex wrench, we'll loosen the screw holding the key inside the assembly. Remove the key and check the spring sleeve for wear. Next, remove the driver assembly. Now the length adjustment mechanism can be removed by unscrewing from a punch driver assembly. Before assembly, we recommend applying grease similar to bearing grease along the threads of the length adjustment mechanism. Apply liberally to the entire thread area. It's also a good time to check for wear and flatness. Next, we will screw the driver assembly back together. When the driver has reached the end of the threads, we will turn back two complete revolutions. To help us with the reassembly process, we will use an old B station guide as a stand to hold the punch guide up inside the spring sleeve in the proper position. Now we need to align the keyway with the internal key. Once the assembly is aligned into place, we will install the anti-rotational key using the two millimeter Allen wrench.
Tighten the screw and torque to 8 foot-pounds of pressure. Next, we must regrease the outer dimensions of the spring sleeve and the keyways. Apply liberally as shown. Also, raise the spring sleeve a few times to make sure lubrication is applied internally. Next, we will reinstall our new draw bolt. Install our spring. Now we will place the entire guide body into the torque pod stand for assembly of the springs. We will install the spring pack layering every other direction, starting the first spring with the concave side down. Once the springs are in place, we'll place the dust cover over the springs. Using Loctite 242 on the threads of the screws, we will secure the cap and cover. To do this, to secure the cover screws, the punch driver with the spring assembly must be elevated and supported in the assembly. Again, we will use our old B-Station guide to help us. First, lift the entire assembly out of the torque pod stem. Set the old B-Station guide inside. Reset the assembly back onto the torque pod. The B-Station guide will act to lift our punch guide into place. Once in place, hand tighten the screws in a star pattern until tension on the springs can be felt. Before tightening with our torque wrench, we want to remove the B-Station guide and secure the assembly in the torque pod. Now we need to preload the springs. Tighten each spring a few cranks and then alternate to the opposite screw, just like tightening the tire on your vehicle. You can see we are alternating during this process. Once all screws are snug, tighten to 45 newtons. Once completed, the D-Station assembly is now ready for use.